question, how much wear is acceptable on a fork? Cascade's easy guide to fork inspection will help you determine what wear is normal and when to remove a fork from service. In this video, we'll show you the step-by-step -step inspection process. Step one, check blade wear. To start, set the front teeth of the caliper by measuring the thickness of the shank. Ensure that the caliper is held square across the shank for an accurate reading. Without changing the caliper setting, position the front teeth of the caliper over the fork arm blade to measure its thickness. Ensure that the measurement is taken near the heel of the fork, between 1.5 inches 40 millimeters, and 3.5 inches 85 millimeters from the front face of the fork shaft. If any part of the caliper back teeth hit the fork blade, it has less than 10% wear and can remain in service. If the back teeth of the caliper pass freely over the fork blade, the fork arm shall be taken out of service. This indicates over 10% wear and 20% reduction in capacity. Step 2. Check the hooks or bushing for wear. Use the end of the caliper designed for your fork class, class 1, 2, or 3, with the caliper positioned 3 quarter inches or 20 millimeters in from the side of the hook. Slide the caliper into the hook pocket. If the hook lip contacts the back of the caliper, the fork shall be removed from service. The forkware caliper can also be used as inside calipers for measuring the bore or bushings on shaft pin type forks. Reverse the caliper and insert vertically into the bushing. Open the caliper until both teeth touch the inside wall of the bushing. Pull the caliper out and measure the distance between the tips of the teeth. Take this measurement twice, once near the inside edge of the bushing and once at a depth of at least 25% the length of the bushing. If the two measurements differ by more than one eighth of an inch or three millimeters, further inspection of the bushing is required. If any deformation, cracks, or thinning of the upper wall thickness are evident, call Cascade for assistance. Step three, inspect the surface for cracks. Pay special attention to the fork heel and all welds which attach mounting components to the fork blank. Forks with surface cracks should not be returned to service. Step four, check the blade and shank for straightness. First, determine the allowable deviation as noted in the fork inspection guide. The allowable deviation is equal to five thousandths of the length of the blade or height of the shank, or 0.5%. If the deviation from straightness exceeds this amount, the fork shall not be returned to service until it's been repaired. Step five, use the cascade caliper to check the fork angle. Align the outer points of the cascade caliper with the inside of the fork heel. Make sure all four points make contact with the fork. Check the angle of the fork using the indicator at the hinge of the caliper. Forks that deviate from the allowable three degree value should be removed from service. Step six, check the tip alignment. To ensure proper tip alignment, use a tape measure to determine the maximum allowable tip difference, which is 3% of the fork blade length. When the difference in the height of the tips of the pair of the forks on the same carriage exceeds this amount, the forks must be removed from service. Step seven, check fork retention hardware. Check the positioning lock and other fork retention devices to ensure they're in place and in correct working order. If the position lock is missing or non-operational, the fork shall be removed from service. Step eight, while you're inspecting the forks, make sure the fork identification is clearly legible. If it's not, the fork must be removed from service. Cascade is your source for quality forks and expertise. The Fork Safety Guide is available in a variety of languages at cascorp.com, and hard copies with fork calipers included are available to order. For all your fork needs, contact Cascade today.